Hello everyone, today I'm planning to head to Delicious Food Corner, which is known for their Hong Kong breakfast. And afterwards, I'm really excited because I'm going to be heading to Mosh Tea Malone's, which has Persian ice cream flavors. And some of them are really unique, like rose water and pistachio and orange water and so on. They're just really unique ice cream flavors that you won't find anywhere else. Then there's going to be an Osen Izakaya, and sometimes people spot celebrities there, but either way, I know the food is going to be delicious. Now I'm going to be heading to Delicious Food Corner, and one of the things they specialize in is congee, and I think that is perfect for a date like today, because this morning has surprisingly been kind of rainy. And honestly, that's kind of crazy considering it's the end of July in Los Angeles. Like, rain seems just like something that would be unheard of, but I think congee will be the perfect food for today because congee is Chinese rice porridge and it is very comforting. So let's head over there now. I'm back now from Delicious Food Corner and I got a lot of different items but the first one I'm going to be trying are these barbecue pork rice rolls. So it looks like this steamed rice outer layer and then it's filled with barbecue pork and I topped it with a little bit of soy. These are some really delicious rice rolls. These are the best rice rolls I've had in a really long time. I love how the outside is nice and thin so it's not too thick or doughy and the barbecue pork is perfectly cooked, it's not overly dry and the soy on the outside just adds a little bit of extra savoriness that you really need for these rice rolls. So overall, these are really delicious. Next I'm going to be trying the fresh chicken congee and it looks like it's topped with a little bit of fried garlic and some green onions and I like that they leave the chicken on a bone in this congee so I think it's going to be a lot more flavorful. This is some of the best kanji I've ever had. The kanji itself is so flavorful. There's tons of ginger flavor and there's plenty of salt. Sometimes I find that kanji isn't salty enough, but this one definitely is. And the chicken is perfectly cooked. It's nice and juicy, even though it's been sitting in here for a while because it's takeout and it's perfectly cooked. Everything about this is delicious. Now I'm going to be trying one of their most popular kanjis, which is a fresh beef kanji. And if this is anything like the chicken kanji, well, I'm just going to be in heaven. This is really delicious as well. The kanji has that same delicious flavor and the beef is very tender. However, I still think I prefer the chicken because in my opinion, it has a little bit more flavor and I really like that the chicken's left on the bone. Now I'm going to be trying one of the more authentic congees. I'm going to be trying the pig liver and pig kidney congee. And I actually really enjoy pig liver congee, but I've never had kidney before. So let's just start with the liver, which I'm used to. I think this is a personal preference, but for me, I think the pig liver is a bit on a large side because it has a very intense and strong flavor that's really gamey and it's a little bit too much for me, even with the rice. So I think it would be better if it's cut up a little bit smaller. Now I'm just going to try a small piece of the pig kidney. And you know the kidney is actually really delicious. It's very fresh and has a slightly bloody flavor. It almost reminds me of a rare steak, but it's definitely a lot less gamey than a liver. And I actually really like the kidney. Now I'm going to be trying one of our sweet items. This is the pineapple bun and it's filled with butter. This is a really tasty pineapple bun. I love the outer crust. A lot of times on pineapple buns, I can't find a good outer crust, but this is perfect. It's nice and buttery and sugary, and I love the butter on the inside. It definitely makes it a little bit more rich, but it's not overly greasy, and the bun itself is delicious. It's nice and fluffy. My only complaint would be that it's kind of dry, but in terms of the flavor, this is a really good pineapple bun. It's actually hard to find a good pineapple bun where I live in the Bay Area. Now I'm going to try their thick toast topped with condensed milk and this is an item that I saw a lot of people dining it in the restaurant getting so I'm sure this is going to be really good. This is really delicious. I'm in love with this. You have the soft 
and fluffy crusty bread and it's topped with just a little bit of condensed milk. It almost reminds me of like a donut glaze. It's very thin but it's not overly sweet so this is a really delicious item. I pretty much loved everything that I got at Delicious Food Corner. The only thing that I really didn't care for was the pig liver because they were big chunks and it was a little bit gamey for me, but really if you're used to it, you will love it. So everything here was amazing. Thank you to my viewer who suggested that I try this because this is really authentic Hong Kong breakfast food. So if you like Hong Kong breakfast or you're curious to try this, this is really authentic and delicious. It's a couple hours later now, and I'm going to be heading to Osen Izakaya for dinner, and then afterwards I'm going to be stopping by Mosh Tea Malone's for Persian ice cream. I'm here at Osa and Izakaya now, and I'm gonna be getting the blue crab hot pot, which is really popular here, and I'm also gonna get a few of the kushiyaki skewers. I ordered the house salad, which just arrived, and it looks very fresh, and there's so much dressing on here, it looks nice and spicy. The salad is very refreshing, the dressing itself is very light, and has a mildly spicy gingery flavor, and it goes great with the lettuce. This is really good in the summer. The food just came out, and I'm gonna start by trying this blue crab hot pot, and this looks delicious. It comes in a sizzling hot metal pot, and it's full of crab and rice and just pure deliciousness. Let's go ahead and get a taste of this crab hot pot. I love this crab hot pot. You definitely have a rich and intense briny seafood flavor. You definitely taste a little bit of the crab innards, which add a nice savoriness, but they're not too overwhelming. And you have the wonderfully sweet and succulent crab. It is so delicious. Not to mention the rice, which has a sweet soy and sort of spicy sauce. And the rice gets a little bit crispy because it's on that hot pot. So you have the crispy contrast between the rice and the soft, tender crab. This is so delicious. Now I'm going to be trying their pork rib, and this looks like it was used on the same grill as the other skewers that I got, and it looks perfectly charred on top. This looks really delicious. Let's look at that dark char on there. I think this is going to be one delicious bite. This is really good. The meat is nice and thin, and it gets a little bit crispy, and it is so, so fatty, so it really caramelizes up well. And you have that sweet soy sauce to complement the flavor of the already delicious meat. Wow, you have to get the pork rib. Now I'm gonna try some of the kushiyaki skewers. And the first one are these shishito peppers. And these are one of my favorite vegetables. Wow, definitely be warned. These are like eating straight up hot peppers. They have a wonderfully sweet and sort of sour soy sauce on the outside, but they're very spicy. I would definitely eat them with some of the meat just to give it a little bit more flavor because these are really spicy. Next, I'm gonna be trying the ginkgo nut skewer and I really love these little ginkgo nuts. My grandma on my dad's side used to always put these in a Chinese soup and these are almost like beans. These are soft and a little chewy on the outside. They almost have the texture of jerky. They really have a unique flavor. They almost remind me of a cross between a pea and a bean. And these are actually really delicious. They're really small, but gosh, they're like little morsels on a stick. I also got the prime beef skewer. This is really delicious. I definitely noticed that they use a very high heat grill because the beef on the outside, it gets really crunchy and it's nice and burnt so you really have that char flavor and it's a really unique texture that I've never had it as a kaya before and it's so delicious. Now I'm gonna be trying the chicken meatball skewer and this is one of my favorite skewers of all time. These chicken meatball skewers are really delicious. I like that it's very simple. You just have sweet soy sauce on the outside and a little bit of green onions on the inside. But what makes this really special is the chicken tastes really delicious. It kind of actually reminds me from the chicken that I had in Japan. This is a must try. Such a great meal at Osen Izakaya. Definitely check them out. Everything was really delicious.
I just got my ice cream here at Mosh Tea Malone's and the first flavor I'm going to be trying is the orange blossom water with pistachios and this is one of their most popular flavors. This is really delicious. It is very sweet and creamy and it definitely reminds me of Persian desserts. The orange water flavor is really iconic and you have the little chunks of pistachios that are nice and crispy and crunchy and this is a really good ice cream. It is very unique. Now I'm going to be trying the rose water and saffron ice cream with pistachios and this is their most popular flavor and I'm really looking forward to this because I love anything rose flavor. That is actually a really perfect balance of the flavor between the rose water and saffron. The saffron is very fragrant and the rose water just adds a little bit of rose flavor. It's not too overpowering and you also really taste the pistachios. This is a very balanced ice cream flavor and really delicious as well. I definitely recommend stopping by Mosh Tea Malone's. I love their Persian ice cream. I'm back now at the Airbnb and today was another great food day in LA. For sure, the highlight of today was the blue crab hot pot I got at dinner. That was so unique and delicious, and I love crab. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did, to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.